Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Johnny Ritchie from Fuel TV's Thrill Billies and, of course, the Rockwell Chronicles. And today I'm hanging out with my good friends from DieselSellers.com and DieselPowerGear.com. Diesel Dave and Dave, man, hanging out with us. These guys are going to give the rundown of the truck. Last time you saw this thing, pretty much bone stock, and they've really ramped it up. Guys, come over here, man. Let's check out. Tell us, tell us what you got going on, Dave. Yeah, so since last time you saw this truck, it was bone stock. Bone stock. Yeah, it had nothing done to it. So as you can see, we've made some updates to it and some upgrades and lots of sponsors parts. Diesel Dave is going to give you a rundown of the exterior of the truck and what we've done to it. Let me show you a little bit of what we've done. Pro Comp. We've got a 6 inch Pro Comp lift, 37 inch Pro Comp mud terrain extreme tires on 20 by 12 LRG rims. We have our favorite fusion bumpers covered in our Scorpion liner. We did a scorpion liner all around the base of the truck to protect us from rock chips. And just so you can get in and out, Amp Research has provided us with some step ups. Pretty nice, huh? Also here in the back. That way you can get in and out of your bed. Your Schmitty built bed cover, your monster hooks. More Amp Research bed steps and then in the very front we have our 12,000 pound winch provided by Smitty Built as well and our favorite rigid lights so we can illuminate ourselves in the darkness and if we take a look under here we got our G2 axle and gear diff covers then right here our Smitty Built M1 grill and that about wraps it up for the outside of the truck I'm going to turn it over to Dave so he can show you what's under the hood. Okay, moving on to under the hood, we're going to talk about what's given this truck power. Industrial Injection out of Salt Lake City stepped up big time, and they provided us with a 64 millimeter silver bullet turbo. Now, the original plan for this truck was to do compounds, but we wanted to build a very streetable truck, something that we could drive around and that the winter could drive around and not have issues with, not get hot. This was a good idea. Going with this single uh, silver bullet 64 millimeter, the truck's making roughly 700 horsepower, it's a great daily driver, it doesn't get hot, pushes plenty of air. Uh, we matched the turbo with some 100 horse injectors from inject, uh, industrial injection. We built the CP3 pump to 85% over, so it's pushing a lot more fuel. Um, we've got ARP head stud to keep those heads clamped down because this truck's capable of easily 50 pounds of boost and we don't want to push the head off. Now, feeding the fuel to the motor is coming from a fast fuel system hooked up directly to the tank. It's 150 gallon per hour, fast, hands down is the best you can get. I wouldn't go with anything else. Now to move the power through and put it to the wheels, we have a transmission. Only part of the truck that's not installed yet is the transmission, but it's gonna be an ATS and it's gonna be a stage three with a co-pilot. So you can lock up the torque converter, very cool transmission. Moving around out back to push all the gas and the exhaust out of the back of the truck, we've got Diamond Eye exhaust. Diamond Eye is our preference. Out of all the exhaust companies that we could have worked with, we chose Diamond Eye because they make a solid product. They're simple, straightforward, easy to work with. The installation took 20 minutes. Very cool product. They gave us a big powder coated black tip. It's a five inch exhaust all the way from the turbo back. So that's how it's making its power and the truck is running excellent. What's up guys? I wanna show you what's going on inside the truck. Let's start with the seat covers. We ended up doing leatherseats.com, uh, super plush seat covers. It's a two-tone leather and vinyl. Um, we've got custom embroidered diesel power gear in the headrests. Honestly, if I were to put leather seats in my own truck, this is what I would do. Hands down, better than factory leather, more comfortable, wears better, it's just a better fit, all around better product. Moving up here, Frequency Mobile Innovations came and did a JVC in-dash DVD player that hooks up to all your apps, Pandora, iPhone maps, all that stuff. Very cool system. Looking around, you can see it's nice and dark and cool in here. That's because we have a 20% tint all the way around, along with a tint strip along the windshield, which keeps the glare out of your eyes when you're driving. Going over here to the power, what makes this thing go is the HS programmer. This is an H&S street tuner, and it's hands down one of the best you can get. It makes this truck just run and drive perfectly. It dialed in the power, dialed in everything that the, should, the truck should be doing, and it runs great. Looking down on the floor, you can't see them very well. We've got Wade floor mats, uh, hands down better than Husky Liner, WeatherTech, better than any other uh, floor liner you can get. And that's about it for the inside of the truck. Once again, Dave and Dave, fantastic job on the truck. That thing is looking sick. Now remind the people how they can win this thing because you're giving this bad boy away. 
giving it away. So you can go to dieselpowergear.com. You can enter on that page. Now please read the contest rules very closely because there's been some discussion as to how you can enter and purchase necessary and all that stuff. It's all written out in the contest rules. Anybody can enter. So head over to the website, dieselpowergear.com. Register to win the truck because there's a good chance you could be driving this truck home. Diesel Dave's picking you up at the airport. You'll probably wind up having a steak dinner with him, but it's gonna be a good time. We're out of here. Hey, see you guys. Once again, dieselpowergear.com. Go there, register to win. You'll be driving this thing just like Diesel Dave and Dave. Ain't gonna happen. Not today.